this is the time of morning for you as our good friend, Dr. Jamie Ronchetto from Cinema Vet comes and pays us a visit. Good morning. Good morning. It's that time of year. We just, uh, Valentine's Day was not too long ago, but it seems like that's when uh, romance blossoms for our pets, our dogs and cats, correct? <laughs> yes. It's beginning to be more like spring and that is definitely kitten season. That's right. It's, sure. be- it's beginning to look a lot like, no, 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 don't get off of that. You know, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like keep a bucket of cold water handy or complying with laws and also uh, health standards and spaying and neutering your pets. Yes. It's very important to spay and neuter your pets. Now, and, and first of all, we were talking a little bit off that there it is, it is the law now, especially in Los Angeles County, yes. that unless there are special circumstances regarding a professional breeders, that you must uh, spay and or neuter your pet, depending. Spaying is for females, neutering is for for, for males, yes. just to get that straight. And uh, th- that, that, of course, uh, not only reduces the population of unwanted pets, uh, but also uh, reduces things like uh, behavior issues and health issues as well, right? Absolutely. Um, so in order to get your um, dog licensed um, through the county, they will require a spay or neuter certificate to be presented. Um, as well as a microchip number. So they're really recommending microchips to be implanted as well at the same time. Um, but yes, yeah, spaying and neutering both for, for females and for males is much health, healthier for them overall. It prevents um, certain cancers later on in life for males, certain prostate issues, and certainly helps with behavioral issues. And it helps mostly with the behavioral issues if we spay and neuter them as younger animals, not waiting until they're you know, several years old, because a lot of times once those behavioral problems, they've been having them for a while, it's much harder to break them and just um, spaying or neutering alone at that point is not going to help. Yeah, especially in males with such things as, of course, aggression and even marking too, right? I mean, I know right. dogs do some of that, but cats especially are the worst with that. Oh, absolutely. So uh, yes. you want to get that early. How young can a pet be when they can be uh, spayed and or neutered? We usually recommend around six months of age. Yeah, they seem to be um, mature enough at that point that, you know, they're they're big enough, um, usually usually over five pounds. We do have those exceptions where the little teeny toy breeds, they're, they're not going to hit that mark, but they're usually over five pounds. They've grown up enough that anesthesia is safer for them. Um, they've had that hormonal influence um, for just a little bit of time, but hopefully the females haven't gone into heat completely yet. Um, that it just seems to be a good age. And that's good. We talk about some of the health risks, especially with older pets. And that's a, I know that I've had uh, uh, especially male friends who have somehow projected their own macho head games onto their male dog said, you know, I just can't do it to him. Yes. It's not good. But it really, I mean, the dog doesn't know the difference or the cat, I should say. They exactly. don't really notice the difference. It's not like, you know, all of a sudden they're going to go, what did you do to me? There may be a little bit of a, hmm, I suddenly don't have these same urges I just want to. <laughs> but it doesn't, I mean, as far as that goes, that's just kind of a, a, a really silly attitude to take when, you know, right? Yeah. 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 You're, you're definitely putting your own feelings into the animal at that point. And they, they really don't think the same way that we do. And for the record, it doesn't mean that your dog is going to wait until you're asleep and drive you somewhere and have that done to you. (laughs) Just to be clear, if that's what you're worried about, chances are not likely that that's going to happen, but very important. And, and so uh, with that, keeping that in mind, six months of age, uh, Mm -hmm. and you, you offer these services, of course, at Cinema Veterinary Center, located on Cinema Drive in beautiful downtown Burbank, (laughs) cinemavet.com. If you have any questions, they can always call as well, right? And just, uh, absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's always, Always, um, lots of questions that owners have. We encourage you to come in for a first exam. We can discuss all of those concerns with you, give you a full estimate of what the entire surgery um, entails. You know, we go through it detail by detail, and usually that alleviates a lot of the worries. And females are a little bit more involved than, than males. It's a little it's bit more little involved. Bit, but, uh, but also, and, and really, it, Coming back around on this and closing out, I do want to touch on microchipping and how very, very, very important that is. Because, I mean, when you find a pet that's, that's roaming around and they don't have one, you don't know what to do. Exactly. And, so, uh, make, and also making sure that all the information is updated and correct. Also very important. That is a huge, huge thing. Because so many times we get owners that have 
gone through with microchipping and the microchip is there, but it's not going to do any good unless you actually make sure that you keep your contact information up to date. If they call, you know, there's several times that we've had to call and there's been outdated numbers and, and then we can't reach the owners. It doesn't work like a LoJack system. Right. It's just an identification system. Right. It doesn't, it has no GPS. No. <laughs> but, uh, and you know, my niece in Las Vegas uh, had her cat microchipped and he had run away and like was gone for like almost two years or something. And it turned turned out because she was still living with with my sister at the time and it was an old number and I don't know if someone had uh, whatever the old number knew my sister somehow but it barely finally after two years they finally called and said hey we wow. have your cat but but it was one of those things they didn't update the number and yeah. uh, I forgot how they finally gotten in touch but but even still so yeah that's pretty incredible and she has the cat back but yeah. uh but yeah, that was a lucky thing. So keep that in mind. So and, and microchipping available at uh, Cinem- Cinema. Yep, Vet we as well? do that too, and we can do that at any time. Um, we can do it with them awake or asleep. It's just always easy if we're going to be putting them under anesthesia, anyways, to do it while they're sleeping, so they don't feel it. Outstanding. Again, Cinema Vet. Cinema Veterinary Center. I can get that out. Uh, Dr. Jamie Ronchetto, <laughs> once again, very, very uh, happy that you came by. Love chit-chatting about pets with you. 253-9300 is the phone number as well. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And thank you. Always fun.